What's going on YouTube dippers? This is the California Dipper here. Um, so today my buddy had a can of Red Man Straight. Not sure what an actual can of fucking Red Man Straight dip. Um, thought it was pretty, actually pretty damn good. I thought it was gonna be shitty, terrible. You know, it's like a fucking dollar forty nine, some shit like that. And um, so I I thought it was gonna just gonna be shitty, like Longhorn or something like that. So I go to uh, the only place, Cigar Line, the only place around here that I've seen Red Man uh, cans, and uh, they didn't have it. I only had a few bucks, so. I ended up having to get Longhorn straight, because that's all the money I had, and uh, I needed to dip. So, I got this can, and it is dry as all hell. Um, I mean, it's just no moisture whatsoever. It's, it's. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Let me see if I can get some more better light over here. But it is so fucking dry. Let's see, I don't know how well you guys can see that. You'll see it better when I pinch it. Um... If I can pinch it, it's not easy to pinch this fucking shit. So, let's get this dip in, and then we'll continue our talk, or my talk, about what happened, and I'll do a little review on this shit. It's just so dry, it's not even a dip. A good old dip right there. My gums have been killing me on the left side, so I'll go to the right. Alright, so, okay, we're spitting in a uh, black mud jug, just uh, got this, what, yesterday, pretty fucking awesome, again, showed up my last video, upside down, this thing is full of spit, but, tip it upside down, nothing's gonna happen, anyway, so, I opened up this can today, right after I get it, still at Sugarland, and, uh, it's dry as fuck, so I take it in there. My buddy was with me too, and he got a can of kayak wintergreen fine cut, and that was also dry as fuck. So we go in there, and like, yeah, dude, this shit's fucking dry. And a bitch there saying, oh, that's how it's supposed to be. And bitch, you ain't got no idea how the fuck to dip. I, it's, it's called moist snuff for a reason. That's supposed to be fucking dry. But anyways, I got stuck with this shit. Um, it really sucks. It's really dry, like I said before. Uh, it doesn't change the spit color at all. I don't feel any nicotine from it whatsoever, and this isn't the first time I've, I've, I've had, you know, I've dipped Longhorn before, and only one time have I had an actual moist can. All the other times it's just been dry and shitty, and, uh, it's a dollar forty-nine, as it says right there on the front of the can. It's a dollar forty-nine for a reason, guys, because it fucking sucks. Uh, I would not recommend dipping this. Um, I mean, Adam, maybe you could get fresher cans. Maybe could, people just don't dip it this that much uh, here, so the can's probably still on the shelves for a while. But nonetheless, this shit is old and dry, and it's just not that good of a dip at all. I mean, it's almost... I mean, a dip's a dip, but I, I just I don't get anything out of this. There's no nicotine in there that I noticed, really. So, it, it sucks. There's not much else to say on it. I um, decided to make a quick review. I just put up another uh, Copenhagen Extra Long Cut Natural uh, on my channel yesterday. You guys go ahead and check that out. Uh, out of a 10, I'm going to give this can like a 2. It's really bad. It's just it's just no flavor. Maybe I'll give it a 3 if I'm in a good mood today. Uh, it's just it's dry. There's not very little flavor. It doesn't like a spit dark, no nicotine that I can tell that's in here whatsoever, you know. Uh, it's just it's just a bad can. It's just bad dip. It's, you know, fucking shithorn. Uh, Mud Jug One or Darcy calls it shithorn, and he says that for a reason, guys. This shit is fucking shit. Terrible. Don't. I, I, if you guys can, if you only got a couple bucks, you can find some maybe Red Man or uh, some shit like that. Get that, because this shit is just fucking ass, and it's not like this is just one can that's shitty, any other can, except one that I've seen, a uh, Longhorn has just been dry as shit, dry and shitty, doesn't taste very good, uh, it doesn't taste like much at all, actually, it's so goddamn dry, I can't taste shit, I've heard putting some orange peel in, uh, the can overnight, moistens it up, I don't know, I'm guessing that's just a bunch of bullshit, but, who knows, so, not going to make a very long video right now. Um, again, 
spit in a brand new mud jug. Very awesome. I would recommend getting one if you can. Uh, thankfully, my buddy actually gave this to me again because uh, he got a he got the Marpad mud jug and all the special mud jugs come with a free black or white one. Maybe it's just black. I don't know. And so he just gave this one to me. Works great. Um, very very happy with it. So. Um, so again, I'll give this a three out of a ten, and that's just being nice because you know it's it's it could be worse than that even. Just shitty dip, shitty fucking dip. Um, I'm really pissed, really. I mean, I was craving a dip all day today. Finally, was able to scrounge up a few bucks, and uh, it doesn't really satisfy that craving whatsoever. <laughs> it's just it's crap. So. You want to try it, go ahead, but I would not recommend Longhorn. Straight, wintergreen, natural. Uh, just don't mint. I don't fucking recommend Longhorn at all. One thing I did notice that's different about the Longhorn cans that I do like. I don't know why, because I know dip cans, at least Skull and Copenhagen and shit, 20% of the can has to be warning labels. But this, on the other hand, uh, I know the fucking paper came off and shit is all fucked up already when I got it. Uh, but if you notice on top, no warning label. On bottom, nor no uh, warning label. And on the side, the only one that's on there is, if you guys can see, it's in that, oops, in that black writing. I think it's in front of the fucking one. That black writing right there is uh, the only fucking thing saying that, uh, what well says, this product may cause gum disease and tooth loss. That's the only warning label on this entire can. So that's kind of cool, at least that there's not a shit ton of fucking warning labels on it. But if it was a good can, make a difference, but this shit fucking sucks. Or maybe that's why it's not on there, because no one's going to buy this shit anyways. Uh, so. Alright guys, that's enough of uh, me bitching about how much I hate this shit, um, compared to any other dip. Again, a dip's a dip, so fuck, if you can dip it, dip it. Uh, but if you got, if if you have other options, choose something else. Fuck, choose something else if you can, uh, if you can. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Uh, shout outs real quick. Tony ninety eight fifty three, Tony nine eight five three. My buddy, my bro. He's got some good dip reviews up. And uh, Lizard King six nine zero six. Got some of the only dip reviews that are left on YouTube uh, that I still like anymore. Now that all the other guys are gone, pretty much. Uh, so check out him out too. Uh, Get yourself a mud jug. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, always keep on dipping.